You're not in the now. You're in the never. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> What's up in the now friends and family Sarah here and I'm once again with the awesome butcher babies here in Oklahoma City at the Diamond Ballroom how are you all You've gotta yeah. be exhausted yeah. we're a little tired okay. we, uh, we had to fly back to Los Angeles yesterday to play Rob Zombie's Great American Nightmare awesome. which was a blast but we had to be back on the, the air at the airport at 4 a.m. oh my goodness so we've gotten no sleep really yep I, slept. I just woke up yeah. it's all good we're gonna have a great time tonight at the Danzig show as well yeah we're actually really excited to be back because we missed everyone yeah. yesterday yeah. it was weird being away from our Danzig family from, they kind of got to be your crew yeah. for a little oh, bit. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, every day. They're our family. So. Well, let's start there. You're obviously tonight um, here at the Diamond Ballroom. You're playing with Danzig, uh, Texas Hippie Coalition, and a pale horse named, named Death. Death. Ooh, yeah. What a name that is. So how's it been touring with all of them? How have they welcomed you and embraced you? They're really you? great. Um, every single band on this tour, they're just really nice and really friendly, very, um, very giving. Tonight, you know, Texas Hippie Coalition, their fans brought them some chili Frito pies Frito yeah. pies yeah. and I love that so of course I indulged they they brought us some and that was really nice and yeah. um, I don't know if that was actually a nice thing to do or not because yeah, now, now this RV we're going to blow chili. this I was RV that. up I was later so. <laughs> we have more between yeah. that and the moonshine it's going to be an interesting oh night that's here. right there's and moonshine and we have a day off around. tomorrow so it's uh, you be, know there's going to be some oh. some party tonight <laughs> stop uh, no but um we're sorry getting started we're not here <laughs> the Danzig team has been so cool from you know the sound guy to Danzig himself to you know the stage manager every single person ha they've treated us like family we've it's, like stayed up yeah. drinking with them it's all really night cool because awesome. if you come on our bus after a uh, after the show they're not hanging out on their big nice tour bus they're over here it's this is Tommy party bus. Victor, they're Steve with the cool Zing, kids yeah. you know, the sound guy everybody is here on our bus hanging out and drinking us, and somehow it's, it's that, so much fun. Somehow that happens every tour we do. We end up being this is like party central. People just walk in, hang out. They always know that there's something going on here. So yeah. apparently we're, like we're developing a rep reputation. So. Been the party kids. That's yeah. all right. Yeah, you guys are fun. We've hung out a few times, and just during the interviews, I'm yeah. like having fun with you guys. Yeah. So I could see how that could happen. Have you ever worked with Danzig before, or has this been the first time? First, first time. Awesome. awesome. So it's probably nice that you can have that type of working relationship just on a first tour, well, and never, so welcoming. You never and know what it's going to be like when you tour with Legend. You know, we've toured with. Um, Marilyn Manson earlier in the year and Rob Zombie we've, we've been very very lucky and you never know if it's going to be a don't look at that person when they <laughs> walk down the hallway situation or if they're going to welcome yeah. you and um, Glenn has been been really really nice really nice that's I, awesome you know he's always down to chat about comic books and one time me and Heidi were sleeping on a couch in the in the catering room and he comes hey what are you girls doing he's eating his banana and he sits down with us at dinner and eats That's with cool. us which is really cool because usually the, the headliners don't do that and he's always in the dining room and everything That's cool. it's really cool oh I bet I bet well let's talk about last night you guys did something really awesome I mean I'm yeah. jealous actually I know Shabby's <laughs> jealous he's a huge Rob Zombie fan and just to be out there uh, they were in Pomona California they were part of Rob Zombie's Great American Nightmare uh, setup that he has going on out there so tell us it, about that I don't think everyone really understands what the whole setup is out it, there and what it is it was really cool it's basically um, you know he has some mazes set up based on his movies so it was on uh, El Super Bisto uh, House of a Thousand Corpses what was the other one there's uh, one more uh, Lord of Salem. Lord yeah. of Salem. Yeah, Lords of Salem. And and the, his artwork and the monsters are throughout the park and it was impressive. So it's like a haunted house type setup yeah, it with would, it, concerts. Exactly. Going on. Yeah. Okay. And How the, awesome is that? The, the, it's just one huge hall for all, you know, just one stage. All the bands share that stage and it is so crazy. Awesome. And so much fun. It, you know, you, you for us yesterday, we played a show, we got done, we went and hung out with our friends at Black Craft. We're all wearing their shirts yeah. today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Which yeah. got free stuff yesterday. <laughs> we got free clothes yesterday. <laughs> so we're all I saw wearing your guys it today. Pictures, yeah. So um, yeah, we went and did our signing there, and then went through haunted houses with fans, friends, and and you know just everybody that traveled far and wide to be there with us that night, or last night, and it was. I don't remember, I don't really know anything else that has that 
sort of feel to it where you've sure. got the bands playing and the haunted houses yeah. going and it's just you know and you have national acts coming through sure. yesterday we were with um ghost town opened the show we played winds of plague some of our good our great friends and then vampires everywhere some of our some of our good friends as well so it was just it was so fun to just you know see old friends but also you know connect with the fans and go get scared with them yeah, yeah that's, the, that's the cool thing about events like that and we're gonna be doing another event like that in january the ship rock cruise where you actually mm -hmm. get to hang out with your fans who have become friends you know yeah. over the last few years that we've been a band it's, it's really neat as a, even coming from a fan standpoint of fans it's, it's a cool experience mm -hmm. for them as well so. that's one of the things i was actually going to ask you guys about was the ship rock cruise coming up in january um and I can't remember the island that it the goes Bahamas. to. Bahamas. Yeah, yeah, there we go. So, have you guys been on cruises before? Or is this a new experience? I've this is like, I've been on families cruises, and so stuff, so yeah. this is going to be. I've been different. on party yeah. cruises before, uh -huh. so I'm expecting craziness. <laughs> I bet so. And the ones I went on were not, you know, they weren't rock fans. It was, uh, it was like a techno crazy rave, like three day rave thing. <laughs> and um, that was wild. I'm excited to see what the rock fans can bring mm -hmm. and the kind of debauchery that we can create. Yeah, we've met a lot of, of fans on this on this tour who are going to be on Ship Rock. So we're already it seems like all of them that are going are the yeah. crazy ones. Yeah, they're yeah. the crazy people. They're so all the crazy people, really and they're fun. yeah. So. Jason's getting getting his bikini body ready. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah my Brazilian. Big things <laughs> coming up from Jason. <laughs> well, I know when we um, talked to the guys, I was telling you, Carla, we missed you two ladies. Um, we were at Aftershock, but we got to hang out with the guys and talk to them for a while. You were talking about throwing your drums in the pool. You were talking about sinking the ship. Yeah, and I'm like, no, none of that. So, uh -huh. I, know, I, bet, I bet it'll be awesome. I'm happy yeah. for you guys. That'll be a pretty good time. Um, well, once your tour's done here with Danzig, when this, this little run is done, what do you guys have going on through the end of the year? Uh, we're going to go home and get some sleep because 2014 is going to be really, really big for us and so we need to rest up. <laughs> So we tell us about it. You got some exciting things you can talk we, about? We have so much going on. We, we really do. can't talk about any of it yet besides Ship Rocked. But keep your your eyes peeled in January. It should be the first week It's always of, like that with you guys. We can't really I tell know. you guys anything. <laughs> the first week of November, they'll, uh, I think um, the January tour is going to be announced. But we are booked through April. Awesome. So but this is something that our fans have been demanding for a while. Yeah, this tour January. That's up, yeah. So it's going to be really interesting to see what you guys think. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So you guys are going to have to follow them. You're going to have to watch them. You're going to have to keep your eyes and ears open and see what's coming. So, well, right now, how's the album been going? You guys dropped Goliath in end of July. Yeah, uh, beginning of July. Beginning of July. Okay. And it, I know it had some major, you know, sells first week, yeah, like thirty three hundred hits. Still, still, still going still good. Still going yeah. well, and um, it's it's been really cool on this tour to see you know our fans singing all the songs um, in the front row. It really, every time we see that, it means so much. We get so excited every night. Last night was insane yeah. because, you know, we'll be like, oh, our, our new album, Goliath, you know, we'll say that during uh -huh. our set, you know, randomly here and there. And you, you'll hear, woo, 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 here and there, you know, but last night, it was like it was a, a, an uproar of people. And then we're like, oh, does anybody have them? <laughs> and it was yeah. just like and all these hands went up, like, and it was just oh, like wow. I'm like, okay, I'm like I bet looking cool. for the hand that wasn't up to and be like, you don't need to sell it. the CD yeah. tonight. Yeah. Yeah. It was really cool last night too. Was people were yelling at what songs they wanted to hear, and it was all different songs. Like every song on the album got called out. Yeah. So um, that means we did something right. We created something that people really enjoyed. Absolutely, if they want it and want to hear it. Yeah. I bet that's been pretty awesome. So of course we've we been on it. tour. And yeah, that was Yeah, we did all covers. Backstreet Boy covers. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and I know you guys have um, your video out, Magnolia Boulevard. Yeah. Yes. What's been the reaction from the fans about the video? Well, it's, it's crazy because a lot of people, you know, this was you know, written by us, the concept, and came from our minds, and it was supposed to be metaphoric, you know, but um, so many people understood exactly what it, what it meant, and they understood exactly the dilemma behind, um, you know, the, the fight scenes and, and, you know, the beginning party scenes and they put it all together. And um, it, it's it's been cool for people to see, you know, that creation that we all sat here and, and you know, of course, writing the song mm -hmm. and then, you know, releasing it and then really or releasing the video for people to actually see what our five minds could back create and to like it and to understand it. Mm -hmm. um, people really, really love feeling. that song. It's a very driving song and music is great. And 
like she said, people connect with the lyrics because everybody has felt that way. At yeah. Some point or another. Yeah. And you guys described it really well too. Um, kind of the same way Heidi just did, you know, when we talked to you out in California and it's, I, I like the video. I mean, when I first watched it, I was like, well, what is going on here? You know, but once <laughs> yeah. you describe it, what, what yeah. it all comes together and it makes sense. So it's a great video. Do you guys have any plans for a, a new video Definitely. coming up? Um, maybe when we get home, we'll shoot another mm -hmm. video for, um, one of our, we're trying to decide what song to do. That's what I was going to say. What, what are you releasing next? Yes. That are our favorites. Um, so, you know, we'll see. It's, and it's not even always up to us too. The yeah. label has a lot to the say. Label, yeah. I, I think we can persuade them. Yeah. So. Century Media is your label. You guys yeah. have a pretty good uh, working relationship with them, it seems like. So. Yeah, they're great. They gave us a lot of creative control because they trust us, because they saw what we did on our own before we had a label. You know, we, we got really, really far on our own. And um, that that's the key in getting a good deal and getting people to respect you yeah. and your label. Yeah. Seems like they understand your guys' vision and yep. your image and give you yeah. a lot of say-so and took control. A long time. And they, you know, this it, did, it wasn't oh we met them we signed the next day or you know anything like that it took years so yeah. you know they As watched should, you know mm -hmm. yeah they watched us grow and they watched the the vision that we had from the beginning develop and so they knew that we weren't dumb yeah <laughs> what yeah. we were com and what we were doing um you know marketing plans or or um you know, evolution of the mm -hmm. band and everything. They, they, That's they find, awesome. You know, they understood it and they had full faith, which is... That's great. Almost unheard of. Yeah. So... Yeah. Well, you guys are relentless. I just have to give you props. I mean, I'm a huge fan of all you guys. I know Shabby is too. We follow you. I mean, you guys are everywhere. You're... <laughs> every day, you're somewhere. I mean, right now is a perfect example. Yesterday, you were just in California. Today, you're in the middle of nowhere, United <laughs> States, you know. I haven't been so outside yet. This is... <laughs> I, I give you guys props. How is... How do you deal with tour life? What keeps you guys grounded? I mean, how do you stay who you are? How do you stay all sane? All of us keep each other grounded. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, we're in work mode when we're out here, so we don't even realize sometimes what's going on or how far we've come. Mm -hmm. We just we try to make small goals for ourselves and just really enjoy the moment because you never know when this is going to end. You don't know when your time's up. So we're just ha out here having a good time with that's our awesome. friends. That's, that's I, the way you have to look at it. For yeah, with our, I, that's one thing that I am really proud of and really happy about with our band is the fact that we're all just best friends. That's and great. The, what does keep us grounded is the fact that we can all confide in each other mm -hmm. and that we have each other's back for everything. And you know, a lot of the most fun nights on this tour have been in this RV, <laughs> us hanging out. We did a, a cover oh, of Love Jason's Shack. Like, the other Jason's night. like, mm. <laughs> I, we, I'm gonna post this video on YouTube, but it's a cover of of, uh, of Love Shack. We, oh gosh. we were yeah, wasted, and it was so good. But <laughs> I don't do, know how I missed this one. We just do like we we really are just a bunch of friends having fun together, That's and so the cool. fact that we trust each other so much is is very key. Yeah. Right. <laughs> what do you have to say, Jason? You're so quiet over there. He's, He's still asleep. He's like dreading for the day that I post this video. <laughs> I'll be looking for it. That's yeah, cool. It's great. I was up front driving and they were back here just going. I was asleep. Oh, no, <laughs> no. This is the video. night you were in it. Oh, you were in no, it. You were in it. That one. Oh, see, you. As you can see, we've done this many times. I was going to say, okay, well, there's like a couple a videos. Three times. Times. There's a couple of videos. That's cool. I think it's great that you guys have so much fun doing what you do, and I mean, it definitely shows, so Yay. definitely keep it up. I'm sure your fans can see that, too, and that's probably yeah. a lot of what brings them out, you know, not just your music or your image, but they can tell you're a fun group of people. Well, I think so. Henry always talks about how, um, you know, we're kind of a band like Pantera was. Our music is serious, our lyrics are serious, but we have a party attitude, and we'll always have that because we're having a good time, mm -hmm. you know. If you're not having a good time, there's no reason you should be doing sure. this because it's a hard life. Oh, I can imagine, so. yeah. Well, um, Shabby kind of had a, a cool question. We, we just kind of talk, you know, when we're traveling to come to these things and what we're going to say and ask, blah, blah, blah. And what's the one thing while you guys are on tour that you absolutely cannot live without? The one thing. I mean, I'm sure you, you're able to get, you yeah, know, your small actually, things, yeah. but I mean, what's like your crutch? What do you have to have? That's, that's the thing that keeps that's you That's definitely <laughs> having your phone. I mean, it is, it's so useful on tour. I can't even imagine. What the hell did they, I mean. I don't know how you would do it. They had map books back addicts. in the day. <laughs> Seriously, know, just like keeping in communication. Like, like, like if something happens, like we had a, for example, we had a blowout the other day. One of our tires blew out on the freeway and we, we had to get to the, to the venue and, you know, we hour before load in and you know 
you got to find a place to, you know, find a tire shop, you know, is it open? Are they going to have what you need? I mean, it's like really split second decisions. You have to like do this stuff, you know, it just Technology. Happens. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I mean, it's just, but it's just, it's just, you know, stuff on the fly. It's like, you got to really think on the fly on the road and be able to handle that. Sure. That I think we all need baby wipes too. Baby, baby wipes were huge. I saw the funniest picture. It was you sitting somewhere. Yes. You're with yeah. baby wipes, yeah. wiping yeah, up you know, blood. It's, it's funny <laughs> too because I was because I was gonna say I was gonna say um, uh, foot spray also. No, for breeze. Yeah, I saw oh, that. Yeah. Is, is essential That's something that I can't live with. That. Yeah, not all. I, of us I, I didn't have <laughs> certain <Right. laughs> colors. I didn't have um, any baby wipes last night, and I still have all my blood on me. That's okay, it'll just add in to tonight. Yeah, yeah. That's, I figured I'm just going to reapply. That's usually, that's, yeah. Yeah, it's usually what we do, just like, ah, oh, I can just carry on. Yeah. But it's, it is amazing, like, how how much different you are after you've toured. Like, we've been around the country four times in the last year, and we are, like, old road dogs now. It's like, we know exactly what we need. We know, like, you know, it's just, like, even, like, showering. Everything is so much easier now. You just yeah. really learn how to live at a basic level you adapt and even and when you go home you take that with you and it's kind of refreshing yeah we basically is. share a closet and, and yeah. we have six people that sleep in that little back area back there mm -hmm. with the bunks and everything so for us it's i saw the digital video bus tour yeah. or whatever whoever did those oh, are pretty yeah, cool yeah. videos yeah, yeah so we left this shit as dirty as possible right. <laughs> yeah. you're like we're not cleaning up for nobody well i don't want to take too much more of your time i know you got another interview you got to get ready and everything but um one last question i'm just kind of curious and i want to hear from each of you so you have to talk um 2014 what's one goal you hope to see from your band but your babies Personally, with each one of you, if you could think of it, it doesn't have to be anything I'll say, big. I'll or... say a foreign land that I've never been to. Foreign land, okay, yeah. that's pretty. That's a good one. Yeah. Uh... Just do that one now. Of course, somebody takes it. I say, uh, you know, maybe late, you know, October, November, December, maybe a new uh, full-length record. Yeah. So a second album. Yeah. Yeah. Coming out. Are you guys able to get into the studio? at all I mean, while you're really right now, or, we, we or, or write music or any of that yeah, kind of work towards the next album music, while you're touring we, back, we have like a lockout you know, like even, even on here jotting down notes in our, in our notepads so. even on here a couple nights ago or like a week or so ago he pulled out his bass and he and Chris were in here like jotting down stuff and he's always beatboxing on his phone there you he go. gets his phone and he's like I have so many weird little things. It's hilarious. You have to put some of those on the next album. I, I was going to make it the lead-in track. So, and I got the rest of you stumped. So they're tired. They're tired. They're like, don't ask us those tough questions. We've hardly had any sleep. So, well, that's about it, you guys. We'll wrap up. Uh, can't wait to see you on thank the stage you. inside. Yay. And again, thanks for meeting with us. It's always yeah, a pleasure to you. catch up with you. So, you so, all right, in the now, butcher babies. Like always, they're not going anywhere anytime soon. They got lots of big things coming up. So keep following them. Keep getting out to their shows. Go get their record, Goliath, if you haven't gotten it yet. That's it for now. Catch cool. you later. Thank you. We're well, here in the now. Nice. <laughs> not in the never. Yeah, <laughs> never. Not in the never.